can't believe Bron lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Oh, it's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. Guess I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hun, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. And it's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. <sighs> Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? Do it. Yeah? Yep. Great. I'll set it all up and, uh, send you the details. Later, hon. and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice-cold beers when we reached the summit. Whose votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The Bears? The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kinda rings a bell. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? Well, we have an interested buyer. Tina's gonna show him the house day after tomorrow. Oh. Great. Apparently he'd be paying cash, but he's just in town for a few days, so... Mm. I mean, we're not signing anything in blood. It's just a showing. I know. Look, we both need this money. And it'll take at least a few weeks, right? There's plenty of time to figure out all this Marianne stuff. It's fine. You did it. It's done. Let's move on. So, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded like he it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in! He doesn't get a pass just because this is uncomfortable for you. I'm not giving him a pass, it's just... hard. damn situation is hard. You think I liked learning all that shit about Tessa? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. You seem pretty eager to ditch all those friends and family, Allison. Apparently a cash offer is all it takes. I'm ready to move on. But that doesn't mean I want to burn every bridge on my way out.
hometown looks pretty picturesque from here, doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. So, you really want to live somewhere super secluded like this? Alone in a cave, speaking for the trees? I do. Is it really that hard to imagine? Oh yeah? Who do you think's gonna come visit you out there, in the middle of nowhere? Well, I was hoping you would. You feeling that, Ty? Yeah. Found you! North Star! Okay, now you're the star and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. You were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. Yeah. I can't believe we played it in public, though. We probably looked like tiny freaks shouting nonsense. Whoa. We were freaks, but that's why we were awesome. You never wished we fit in a little more? Not at all? No, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. Hey, I really am sorry I gave Tina an answer without talking to you first. It's okay. You probably made the right call. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the winds as they come, but maybe not at the expense of my father figure. I'll try my best. Remember that time both the bridges collapsed? Yeah, it was a week before they got the roads reopened. And Sam had to bring us supplies with his boat. It felt like our house was on a deserted island, but way colder. Hey, look what I found. Aha! I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? Uh, what I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There. Looking better already. You're right. Way better. So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? 
Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be... Oh, good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm going to take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll make time if we say it's important. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Hey, we don't need anything up there. Come on. Dr. Torres, you said your daughter was with you during the incident? Yes, she was. I'll need her information too then. Can you give me her name and date of birth? Okay. Isabella Henderson, July 16th, 2009. Henderson. Different last name? Yes, her father's. My ex-husband. Does she live with you? Most of the time? No, her father has primary custody. You can turn that car because around. of my Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? <sighs> What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about our mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement, and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Oh, I hate when he's stubborn, he's stubborn like that. Nervous. So what now? Of course, Miss Torres. Where were we? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it or something. What are you two up to over there? Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, mother nature's juice cleanse. There's a bathroom just past the break room, behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. Should we just look around? Yeah. Okay. Act normal. There's no access to the first floor this way. We need to find another way up. Isabella Henderson, July 16th, 2009. Henderson. Different last name? Yes, her father's. My ex-husband. Does she live with you most of the time? No, her father has primary custody. Because of my hours. She stays with me on the weekends. Hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I, um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. JCE? You know, Juno Coalition for Equality. Oh. Oh! Wait, really? That's awesome. 
Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from and will fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the rant. What's up? So, how do you like being a cop? Must be kind of weird. Oh yeah, but I know I do a lot of good here. And the team's great. Chief Brown, he gets it. Really? Mm-hmm. We hired this guy last year who kept asking me to get him coffee. Chief canned his ass that day. <laughs> wow. Way to go, Chief Brown. What about you? Any thoughts on the future? Well, I studied to be a park ranger, and I'm hoping to do a tour in Denali. Hey, you know, I have a cousin who works in Yosemite. If Denali doesn't work out, I could see if they have any openings for you. <laughs> You'd do that? Of course. As long as you don't make me sorry I offered. Thanks, Denise. That'd be amazing. How did you find out about the JCE? Same way anyone finds anything. The internet. It took a few months before I actually went to a meeting, though. Every time I thought about going, I chickened out. I can totally relate. Well, trust me when I say it was the right move. It is a wonderful, supportive community. Can't recommend it enough. See you around then. Yeah, back to the grind. We'll talk later, okay? Incident report states you called yesterday at 6.13 a.m. because someone vandalized your mailbox. Officer Vincenzi was dispatched to your home at 6.29 a.m. But you couldn't stay to get... Tyler Ronan. Uh, Good to see I you again. To You've tonight. gotten tall. That usually by. happens between ages 11 and 21. Huh, <laughs> yeah, uh, well, uh, right. welcome sure home. Thanks. It's been a while. So, what brings you two around? Uh, we just can't get enough of the fluorescent lights and smell of old takeout. <laughs> oh, come on. It's not that bad. So, is there anything I can help you with? Busy day around here? Well, the fire alarm went off three times in the span of an hour this morning. I thought the Chief was gonna rip that alarm right off the wall. So, Tyler, Chief said you were a mentor over at Fireweed, huh? You ever think of joining the Force? Craig's, he just got here. Yeah, I know, but we could use more people like him. People like me? Well, well yeah, you know, people with natural authority. Are you really trying to recruit my brother? Huh, and why not? We're short-handed right now. And, since you've shot down my offers, I figured I'd try the other Ronin kid. Wouldn't hurt to lower the average age around here, I guess. Could you go through the full details of your morning, Dr. Torres? Okay. Now, where was I in this report? I woke up ah, five, right. And got ready for work. Oh, hey, uh, sorry, Tyler. I'd better finish this or Wilson has a conniption. There's no access to the first floor this way. We need to find another way up. Someone. Come on. We need to find another way up. Was going through our mailbox. My back was to it because I was shutting the door. But Isabella is certain of what she saw. She says it was a little kid. Around her size. She shouted at them, but by the time I turned around, they were gone. What's up? See you around then. Yeah, back to the grind. We'll talk later, okay?
Yeah, I need a smoke. You should think about quitting. Only gets harder the longer you do it. Yeah, I know. While you're at it, get your sister to stop too. be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? Got a better idea? Not really, no. Right, let's go. Garbage cans are like the opposite of bear proof. You know, it's actually really unhealthy for animals to eat our trash. Simmer down. We don't have time for a ranger rant. And I've got the wildlife channel too, you know. Oh, hey, uh, sorry, Tyler. I'd better finish this or Wilson has a connection. That pile of paperwork? What about it? I could tip it over. Kind of messy, but, I mean, sure. Tyler, what happened? Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Just leave that there. All right, I'm in position. What now? Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. The staircase will be right there. Catches us in here. There's no turning back now. Though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. Huh. The Dallas police force is getting. This guy has a record, and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. Seriously? You're Whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What is that? Huh. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh. Whoa. 
Whoa, Ryan looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't, I don't know, but there's a reference number, R68653. Huh, Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah, uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. <sighs> Seriously? Go on, try. Once more with feeling? Hit it. Dum da dee do. Oh yeah. Beats. Bats up. Bats bats. I hate you. Looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half-done sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R68653. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay. Nope. <sighs> not this No, that's not it. Nope. Well... Huh. What was that reference number again? 05R68653. Here we go. So far, I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. I'm in. You can search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan? March 1st, 2005? <laughs> Thank you. 
references. He's not a writer, Tyler. Crossing Police Department. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello. I can hear you. It's my mom. She she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! seen this one. Been there. Done that. Yellow's Crossing Police Department. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello. I can hear you. It's my mom. She, she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! Here. 